New Reno, the biggest little city in the world. Watch yourself around here, the locals ain't too friendly. Welcome to New Reno, the biggest little town in the world. Trash can fires and neon signs bathe the city in a hellish glow. Smiles displaying a gleaming gold tooth. His cologne is so strong it almost chokes you. Welcome to the glittering city of New Reno. My brother and you are name's Jules, and I would be most pleased to make your acquaintance, show you around, and set you up with whatever you're looking for. <laughs> Look, Jules, is this it? You obviously expect something out of this conversation to level me up front. What are you looking for? Jules smiles, dies. I'm looking for people like you coming into Reno. This is the prime spot to deal, plus certain establishments pay me to point newcomers their way. That a good enough answer for you? Yes. I can get you anything you need, brother. If you need to fly, get high, slide down low in a luscious hoe, Jules knows where to go. What's my drug of choice? Well, what have you got? Question is, I got such treasure, so what's your pleasure? Well, tell me a little bit about New Reno. Can Jules tell you about New Reno? Hell yes! First thing you should know, Reno's ruled by four families. Mordinos, the Salvatores, the Bishops, and the Wrights. Each of them got a slice of the Reno pie. Okay. <laughs> what about the law? Ain't no law! Ain't no police! Ain't no sheriff! Ain't no government body! Just the families. Who keeps the order in Reno, then? The families keep things running smooth. They don't like trouble in Reno because it hurts the tourist trade, and that means less money for them. Don't make trouble and cover your bets. You'll stay off Golgotha. Golgotha? Yeah, the graveyard outside of town. It's where they put debtors and people who've crossed the families. They just string them up on posts and let them die slowly in the sun. Not my choice of dying. Stinks like hell out there. What about the families? Well, now, another thing you gotta know about New Reno is nothing's free. If it is, examine the merchandise. Pay him a hundred ships. Slip him a... Slip him a Benjamin. Jules pockets the chips so quickly you swear they vanish. So much of the fine families interest you. How about the Mordinos? The Mordinos are a two-headed beast, friend, and each head's named Jesus Mordino. I always suspected Jesus had ties to organized crime. I'm assuming that's Jesus, actually. There's the father, Big Jesus Mordino, and the son, Little Jesus. And both are the meanest sons of bitches you ever met. Used to be slaves here, but they turned the tables years ago and covered out their own little empire. How big is their empire? They own the, the, the Desperado just down the street. Can't miss it. They also got the biggest supply of jet in all of New Reno, so if you got the urge to fly... Hmm. Speaking of which... How come the Mordinos have the biggest supply of jet? They're on top of the pile, friend. Ain't no more reason than that. They got the factory, the maker, and the distribution. They're like a whole goddamn airline. They got so much jet. What factory, what maker? How extensive is maker. Yeah, leans in. See, the Mordinos got themselves a little gold mine by the name of Myron. Mm, you'll love Myron, I promise. Hit the jackpot with him. See, he made jet. Tell me about this Myron. Aw, oh, now see, Family Mordino struck the jackpot one day when they found this little brainiac called Myron. Seems he's a natural when it comes to making drugs. He made Jet. Myron, huh? Where can I find him? Now, I don't want to go on about the pleas the less pleasant New Reno sites, but there's this building, the stables north of town, heavily guarded by the Mordino family. That's where Myron is. Stables outside of town. Yeah, Mordinos keep old Golden Boy there. Give him chips, horrors, anything he wants as long as he makes drugs. Uh, Jet was his finest. Ain't seen anything so addictive in a long time. Turned Reno around, it did. Think I could meet this Myron? Whoa, now, brother, here's some free advice. 
Don't you go be looking to meet Myron, because the Mordinos catch wind of that. They'll gut you and let you die on Golgotha. Isn't there any way I could see him? If you were a fine-looking woman, maybe. But otherwise, you would like to need the Mordino's permission first. Both ain't very likely. Uh, did you know, where can I get some drugs? Brother, you need to look no farther than humble Jules himself. I got it all, and if it, if I ain't got it, you don't want it. Shall we get down to business? What kind of drugs can I get in New Reno? All kinds of shit. I got shit make you horny, make your woman horny, make you hard, make you happy, make you strong, make you smart. And of course, I got the drug, the shit that'll let you fly, jet. Uh, sure, okay, why not? I'll friendly corner neighborhood drug dealer. How much do you want? 56, eh? That's like, hmm. Uh, you got some stim packs, though. I would like those. Here, have a combat shotgun. Where does Jet come from? Has it always been around? Well, uh, Jet comes from here, Reno, I mean. It ain't been around long, but it's in demand, know what I'm saying? Number one reason we get tourists like yourselves. But why did Jet come from here? Uh, just talking about Myron. Interesting uh, questions. I'm looking to buy some heavy firepower. I hear, brother. I hear. You want the best? You go see my man Eldridge on the West End. He got shit that'll kill people you ain't even met yet. Tell him I sent you. I see. I'm looking for supplies. You need some supplies? Well, you can go see Vernesco up on the West End, but... Here's the catch. Don't buy no drugs from him, because they ain't safe. He's got supplies, all right, but if you want drugs, talk to me. Keep that in mind. I'm looking for my tribe. They've been kidnapped. Don't know nothing about that. Sorry about your loss. Maybe it was slavers? Could be. I'm looking for a Garden of Eden creation kit. Garden of what? That's some kind of drug? What does this garden thing do? Get you high? Nah, it's, well, never mind. I had better some other questions. That's enough, Jules. That a car? Damn! It sure is, bro. How the hell do you go to the bathroom with that thing on? If you get an erection in that thing, do you bruise? <laughs> I think I saw this same situation in an anime video once. So they react to you if you're wearing power armor, which is kind of cool. If you want to get it on, you'll have to step out of there. Hmm. What's going on here? That's the cat's paw. That's the uh, the uh, brothel. The woman before you is stunningly beautiful. As you address her, she looks up from her work and smiles. Ah, new face. I'm Miss Kitty. Welcome to the cat's paw. What's your pleasure today, sir? I'm looking for some action. I'd like to ask you some questions. Well, there's no harm in asking. I'd like to hook up my friend here with a little something special. Looks your companion up and down and nods. I think we can accommodate you. Um, okay. Sure. <laughs> I'll go pay the cashier. All right. Um, I hope that was Cassidy and not um, the dog. Looking for some action. Is that so? Well, then you've come to the right place. Whatever your pleasure, or fantasy. What's on the menu? 
I like to hook up my friend with a little something special. Actually, <laughs> let me try this. Uh, wait here until I come back. See what happens. Um, we have honey loving the dipsy swirl home jobs and <laughs> various other exotica. I'd like some oral attention. <laughs> dirty sex. Is it okay if I just, you know, talk with them? <laughs> I have a special dramatic request. Actually, I've changed my mind. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> I can't get them to get it on with the dog. <laughs> what is this dramatic request, though? I'd like my partner to dress up in a vault jumpsuit, call me the Vault Dweller, and I've got to find their Vault Sexty. <laughs> a 475 chips? No, that's okay. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, <laughs> okay. Now that we've got Cassidy laid... <laughs> We got white booty, black booty, southern booty, northern booty. <laughs> okay. That was, um, interesting. Save game. New Reno. Here's the Desperado Casino. See if we can get some work. Ka-ching, bang. You see a strange machine. You see a strange golden metal box with three eyes and one arm. It is one of the prettiest things you have ever seen. Leave. Apparently I have no concept of gambling. Let's go upstairs. Well, you cannot get there. going on upstairs. Hello. How do you take a piss with that thing on? Let's see one of Mordino's men. Let's save as New Reno Mordino. Hey, that rhymes alliteratively. Talk to this guy. You see a door. Oh, I have the Bozar. <laughs> Put that away. How do you take a piss with that thing on? I guess we just go and talk to him, huh? The man turns to face you. He looks sick with fever. Sweat trickles down his face and stains his clothes. He's staring at you. It looks like he's waiting for you to speak. Who are you? The man speaks in a rasping voice. I am Jesus Mordino. You will address me as Senor Mordino. A bead of sweat trickles down his forehead. What is your business with me? Heh. <laughs> Is the heat bothering you? You seem uncomfortable. I'm looking for work. Mordino studies you. Very well. I have work for you. Take <laughs> this package to the stables north of Reno. Give it to a man, Ramirez, then return. Okay, sounds easy enough. Don't ask what's in the package or he'll get mad. Head north up Virgin Street, past the casinos. Follow the trail that leads outside of town. You will come to the stables. Now go. Follow his directions. 